All right, so in the previous video, we covered layout and pages, and we just created these HTML tags in our layout.jsx. And as I mentioned, Next.js uses a folder-based routing system. So let's create a new route and see how that works. Inside the app folder, I'm going to create a new folder, and I will call this dashboard. So the name of this folder is dashboard. Now, within the dashboard folder, I'm going to create a document that is going to be called page.js or jsx or tsx. Now this name must be page. Otherwise, Next.js will not recognize this as a route. Now in here, we just want to have a simple React component. So let's say export default function. We will call this dashboard. And similar to our home page, let's return a div. Within that, we will have an h1 that says dashboard. And now keep in mind, this name can be anything, but the name of the document must be page. And that's it. Now, if we go back to our website and go to forward slash dashboard, you notice we have our navigation, we have the text dashboard and the footer. So just by creating a folder within the app folder, we created a new route. And Next.js automatically picked up this layout and recognized that as our main layout and then replaced the content of our main tag based on the page we were using. So going to the forward slash, Next.js would render this page. Going to forward slash dashboard, Next.js will pick up this page. And that's how easy it is to create routes in a Next.js application. Now at this point, I'm just going to add some CSS and I will paste all of that into my global.css and you can get all of these classes from the GitHub repo, which is linked in the description. So this is my CSS classes. And in here, I'm just targeting different HTML tags and also creating some custom classes, which we will use in this course. So if you want to use these classes, again, the link is in the description. So let's close this one and go back to our website. You can see we have a navigation and a dashboard and the footer is down here. Now let's see how we can create a link to our dashboard in our navigation. So we don't have to manually type the name in the URL. So normally we would go and create an A link that would point to, for example, dashboard and use a label. Let me just add a class name as well. So I have a nav link in my CSS, so we can use it here. And back to our website, here is the dashboard. So of course, if I click on this one, we will go to forward slash dashboard, but notice we are making a traditional request to the server. Now we want to avoid this and use the built-in router system of Next.js. All we have to do is to replace this A tag with a component that is called link, and we need to import this from next slash link. Up here, I am importing link from Next.js, and down here, I am using it in place of that A tag. So this is my dashboard. I'm going to copy this and paste it for our homepage. And the href is just a forward slash. So now we have two links back to our website. We have home and dashboard. We can navigate between them. And you notice there is no full refresh. And we are taking advantage of an SPA application just by adding a few lines of code and creating our folders and files in a Next.js way. Now, in the previous video, we talked about layouts and pages, and sometimes you want to have another layout for specific pages. Let's say our dashboard URL needs another layout. So let's create a layout.jsx here. And again, we just want to create and export a React component. So we can say export default function, and I will call this dashboard layout. And in here, let's return a div and I'm just going to add an h1 that says dashboard layout so we can see it on the screen and see what's happening and then i will have a div here which will accept the children so we need to accept that as a prop up here in the parentheses and this is going to be our dashboard layout so again notice the name here is layout.jsx and that is under dashboard folder if you go back to our website you notice we have our main layout we have our dashboard layout and under that we have the text dashboard, which is coming from the page.jsx. If we go back to the homepage, we don't see that dashboard layout because that only belongs to dashboard and any other pages under dashboard. For instance, if I was to create a new folder under dashboard, and for example, I will call it user, and then under that, I will create a page.jsx. And again, we want to return the function. I will call this user page, and let's just return an h1 that says user page like this 
and back to our website, if we navigate to forward slash dashboard and then user, we can see the text user page. We can see the dashboard layout as well as the main layout and the URL, of course, two level deep because that's how we created our folders. So again, this app folder is the forward slash and any folder we create here becomes a URL. So this becomes forward slash dashboard, forward slash user. And if there's any other folder, it would just go deeper. So this was just an example to show you how we can create multiple layouts for different purposes. And as we build our application, we also learn about how to organize our folders and how to exclude a folder from URL or how to create dynamic URLs and so on. But for now, this is about routing. So all we have to do is to create a folder under our app directory, and that would become a URL or a page. And within that folder, we would need a page document that would return the HTML of that particular page. So now we don't actually need this user and layout. I'm going to delete this user folder, also this layout.jsx, but I will keep the dashboard. We will come back to it when we get to authentication. But first I want to cover login and register. And through that, we will learn a lot about Next.js. We will cover form, we will cover server actions and server components and client components and many more. So the authentication is going to be a big part of our project, but we will also learn a lot about Next.js. So let's get started with authentication.